During the reign of the Nazis, it is estimated up to 1.5 million Romani people were systematically murdered in ghettos and death camps. The genocide known as the Roma Holocaust, or Poraimos, was perpetrated in the name of Aryan racial purity between 1933 and 1945. My name is Johnson Welsh and I am getting ready to go to an event in Krakow, Poland called Dicky Nabiste, which is the annual memorial for the Roma genocide during the Holocaust. And also just to visit Auschwitz and Birkenau, you know, go to an actual concentration camp. I mean, I've never been to anywhere like this before. I've never visited anywhere in Europe where any of these atrocities happened. I think it'll give me a better feel of what happened, um, a better understanding. I mean, it's all well and good reading about it watching films or whatever and documentaries, but actually going there and getting a sense of the place will help you to appreciate what happened to these people. Around this time of year, young Roma and ethnic travellers from all over the world get together for the Dike na Bister, Look and Don't Forget event in Krakow, Poland. This event not only covers the history of the Poraimos, but also the rise of fascism in modern day Europe. My name is Sherry Smith, I'm a project manager at Gate Hearts. Um, we started this project three years ago. The idea of this project is called Dikinabistan. It's 27 countries around Europe and America actually this year. And it's 27 countries and about 300 participants. And the idea is that you teach the young people about what happens on the Roma genocide and then they go home and they multiply the information to make more people aware so that we can get more acknowledgement so people start to understand about Roma genocide. The Roma of the concentration camp were scheduled to be liquidated on the 16th of May. One of the Roma barracks, armed only with sticks and stones, staged an uprising. This was enough for the SS to call off the slaughter, but only prolonged the inevitable. I mean, obviously, I'm expecting it to be extremely sad. Um, first time I've been here, everybody says it's one of them things that you can't really explain it until you've come and experienced it for yourself. So I'm not sure what to expect. Um, I mean, when I've watched things about the Holocaust and Auschwitz or read things about it in the past, like it's it's not very hard to move me to tears. You know, I am quite quite a soft hearted person, so I'm expecting. I don't know. I'm expecting it to be sad, obviously. On August the 2nd, 1944, Himmler, fearing a Roma insurrection, acted promptly and ordered all Roma in the camp to be terminated. In all, 2,897 men, women and children were sent to their deaths in the gas chambers of Auschwitz that day. It was incredibly harrowing. It was, I mean, it's hard to put into words what I've just seen, to be honest. Um, actually coming here and standing in this place and like feeling like and you went in some of the rooms like you can't actually comprehend that these things happened that human beings were capable of inflicting such misery awful it was the things that happened here and like i don't know i feel a bit um not just upset but i feel angry because no matter how much we work or how much activism you do or anything like that, you can't unwrite history. And it's just one of the most upsetting experiences ever, really. Like, trying to explain that, I can't really put it into words. It was awful. But I'm glad I've been and I witnessed it. August the 2nd is now internationally known as Roma Remembrance Day. Every year, there is a commemoration that takes place at the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, with speeches from Holocaust survivors, activists and politicians just to sort of be there and stand in solidarity with other young Roma men and women and remember the victims of this terrible atrocity which happened 74 years ago.